Hey everybody, welcome to race day and today we are putting another new vehicle on our tracks called the Land Cruiser 105 and I'm your host Yakuma, it's a nice and sunny day out here on the race tracks and uh, this morning we got crazy Bob blazing through our tracks uh, as usual and can the Land Cruiser 105 beat the offender 90 because this is like the offender 90 is our only vehicle uh, which uh, went through our track and today welcome your ho co-host kenny g kenny g what's happening dog well 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 hello there everybody we got a land cruise this morning it's been cruising all over the place and compared to last time i think this land cruise is gonna kick some defender butt I mean, I love Land Cruisers, it's one of my favorite vehicles, and let's see how it performs on this track. Oh, don't say that, man. I mean, uh, the Defender was pretty good as well, so let's see about that. I don't know about you, Yakuma, but my money is on this vehicle. And off to a good start, we see that uh, it's uh, picking up really nicely. Uh, whoa, 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 we kind of have a little bit of slip at the back. You can say that again, Kenny G. And whoa, he slips again and another break uh, to the right. And I think Crazy Bob's going all over the place at the moment, but uh, the vehicle's holding up. And all right, Crazy Bob is making his way up Hilly Heights, our first challenge. And we got a whole lot of logs as a second challenge. And I think this vehicle's gonna do pretty good over here. What do you think, Kenny G? I'm telling you, Yakuma. We should sue the people who caught so much of logs and just kept it on the track. I mean, it's deforestation. But speaking in terms of the vehicle, it's doing pretty good. As you can see, the shocks are working pretty good as well. And uh, right over that without any trouble at all. And we got some rocks over here. Let's see how it does. It's, this area looks simple, but it can be dangerous. Oh my gosh, and he almost lost it over there. He had to winch himself out of there. And, whoa, can he do it? Can he get over this? And he does. Almost losing it over there with the little rocks, Kenny G. I mean, that was crazy. I, I hope this vehicle doesn't tip itself over at some point of our track. And let's see how well it performs over here last time. The Offender 90 was uh, struggling a bit. It took some time. We had to change gears and get up this hill. So right now, it seems to be performing really well. Uh, we call this the rock a bye bye <laughs> because if you fail over there, you're going down and he makes it over. So Yakuma, what's the story behind that crash helicopter? Uh, it's really weird to have a crash helicopter in this uh, forest. Uh, the story behind the helicopter KDG is uh, there was a forest fire some time ago, so that explains all the logs. And the helicopter which was putting out those fires uh, unfortunately crashed. Uh, but with that crash, what they discovered was this would be a great area for uh, racing. Alright Yakuma, we are coming over to one of our next challenges and it's uh, Hilly Brothers because these hills look like brothers and uh, it's doing pretty good so far and whoa, we got some airtime over there that was some pretty good airtime totally Kenny G we gotta check out the replay after this race is over so this part of the track is very underestimated by uh, our drivers and can get stuck all of a sudden there you go that's exactly what I'm talking about you have that acceleration and you decrease all of a sudden when you expect to go forward and this part of the track is pretty standard taking a bit of beating side to side so Yakuma I think or the Land Cruiser is uh, like cruising along pretty good and it has done pretty well so far compared to the offender I think it's ahead uh, but no offense to the offender is a pretty amazing vehicle as well um, let's see how well this performs over water and by the looks of things, it's just doesn't even slow down. It doesn't slow down, just goes through the water. And that's what I'm telling you. That's why I like uh, Land Cruisers. It's amazing. Love it. And oh, and he 
almost lost it over the bridge that would have caused a fatal error, uh, resulting in the vehicle not being able to complete the track. And now we are heading over to the contra construction zone. I think this vehicle is pretty good and it's like going right over the construction zone. We got a few more challenges ahead and let's see how well it performs and absolutely nothing. I mean, it doesn't even slow down. So it's pretty good. Not much mods available and now we're heading to the muddy zone. That's right, Yakuma. And right now we're on the muddy zone and... Ooh, doesn't get stuck. Just just went through the money zone without any problems. Alright, over the bridge and off we go. So oh, oh, oh I see he didn't go over the middle bars over there. It would have slipped right into. So performance wise I love the vehicle's performance. It's uh pretty good vehicle. Uh, I wish there was a few more mods for this vehicle because uh, the mods were not working and the colors were not working for some reason. Whoa! Another airtime! Another big airtime, man. That was pretty cool. Reminds me of my grandma who's, uh, who did some off-road racing and she used to go over hills while I was at the back of the car uh, when I was little and we used to fly like that when no one was looking. <laughs> You have a pretty crazy grandma, Kenji. I mean, that's really dangerous. But uh, we're heading over to the last obstacle of our track and the Land Cruiser doesn't seem to be getting stuck at all. Uh, pretty good and I think it will be a great vehicle for our viewers, uh, don't you think, uh, Kenji? I mean, it's a good addition to their fleets. Don't you say nothing about my grandma, Yakuma. Alright, so we are ahead of the Defender and we complete the track in 5 minutes 56 seconds which is 47 seconds ahead of uh, the Defender. So the Land Cruiser takes top position. I wonder who's gonna be the crown champion of this uh, track. Very true Kenny G. I mean, let's uh, do check out our future races as well. I mean, there's a lot of races coming up ahead of race season and uh, this time, the Land Cruiser did have some pretty amazing moments. Uh, let's check out the replays. All right, everybody, we had some amazing racing spirit out there, and the Land Cruiser did pretty well. And I'm your host, Kenny G, and my host, Yakuma. Uh, we hope uh, you all enjoyed our episode, and do stay tuned for more racing on trail blazing, fiery, all of that. No. That's right. Kenny G. So until next time, we will see you soon and stay tuned to Flaming Yakuma.